Hey guys, Kyler reviewing set 71763 Lloyd's Race Car Evo. This set released January 1st of this year, retails for 30 euro and comes with three minifigures. Well, that said, let's get into the review. So, the first minifigure we have in the set here, and the only ninja you get in this set, is Lloyd in his Evo suit, which I think looks pretty good. This is probably one of the better Evo suits, in my opinion. All the colors really mesh well together, even the brown on the legs. It looks pretty good. This is also one of the cheapest ways to get Lloyd, with the cheapest being either getting the uh, Nanomech poly bag that was released in January, or getting the 4 Plus Lloyd mech, which both are on the same price, but the poly bag is arguably better. But here, it's, he's pretty good. Um, it's a reuse of the mask piece from Legacy and Season 11, just now in a dark green and olive green combination, which I think looks really great. Uh, which will remove the mask and get a better look at his face front there, which we've all seen before. But you also do get his hair piece, or at least the hair and bandana combo from uh, season 14 uh, with the island, which looks pretty good. Uh, but if we flip him around to the back and if we remove his armor, you can see there it says ninja in ninjargon, which all the ninja suits in this wave have. But you can also see there a bit of a dragon, which is reminiscent of his legacy suit. Overall, this is a pretty good suit. It's probably one of the easier ones to get, either that or Zane's, but good suit nonetheless. So let's move on to the next minifigure in the set. One of the two snakes you get in the set here is the Python Dynamite, who is just a normal one of these new uh, serpentine warriors, just with short legs and also a gunmetal gray head. Instead of the normal orange ones, but it's just the color uh, inverse, which looks pretty good. A great reuse of the Pyro Whipper head from 2019. He also has there one of the brand new uh, stud shooters, which you could also get in Zane's mech this year. He also just has a stick of dynamite, which is a, a Lego staple at this point. Uh, you can see his torso print there, but if we remove the head, you can get a slightly better look. Which you can see there, it looks pretty great. And over at the back, it's just more scales, which overall it's a good minifigure. Although, as well as Frat mentioned as well, correction, I guess, for the Ninjago 2022 Wars the First. He is not exclusive, obviously, to Legendary Dragon, so uh, whoops. You also get the Cobra Mechanic in the set too, which this is one of my favorite uh, new of these serpentine types. He looks really great. You see, there's two flame throws on the side using the Outrider uh, back torso for or um, attachment from Infinity War, which is pretty good. He also gets a, uh, a wrench there too. It's just a reuse of the normal snake uh, python design that we've gotten, but just to get with the Outrider uh, back, which I've already showed you the torso, so I'm not going to remove it. Overall, it's a great minifigure, but anyway, let's move on to the side build in the set. Which to old school Ninjago fans, this might seem like a very similar build, and that's because this is pretty much like a slightly upgraded version of the Ninjago car poly bag from 2012. Put a picture up on screen, and then you got Cole in it, which over here you get in uh, newspapers. So this is a nice throwback for 2022. It's a, just a nice go kart design there with the flame at the back. Uh, you can just fit any minifigure on top there. You also have a sticker as well, which goes completely across, which is meant to be maybe a control panel or something, which looks, I don't know, it's a bit weird that they have it on the floor of the go-kart. Just there, you have a nice flame piece too. It's pretty good, I mean, not too much else to say, it's just pretty good. It could have been easily a poly bag or a full pack or something, but nice to get in the set. So actually taking a look at the car itself, uh, you can see it's it's a car alright, it's one of the LEGO sets of all time. Starting with the front, you have this big block piece here, which just, it doesn't work, uh, it's very easily removed. You have these two new style stud shaders up here that are blocking the exhaust for some reason. You have this very unfinished, like, driver's seat, why is there no roof, it's just open, you could have at least tiled this off. The stickers are fine. This back part here is it's okay, but maybe they could have put like another banner here or something. No, this part just it just isn't good. It it just looks ugly. The set just looks ugly. Uh, flipping around to the back there, you I mean, yeah, you, the red Technic pieces and stuff exposed. Just to the side looks the same. It's not really a good set. Uh, but taking a look at Lloyd's cockpit in there, you can see there the uh, console piece there printed. You can also see as well that this does use the um, 
Speed Champions uh, chassis for the car, which I think is fine, although usually they are meant to fit too many figures, but unfortunately here, they tube them down and you can only fit Lloyd, which is a bit disappointing. But since you can, don't get any other ninja in this set, I think it's fine, but uh, it's not good. 30 euro, whew, steep price in my opinion. But anyway, let's move on to the instructions. Which thankfully have not been ruined by the newer style instructions. Just thing. Uh, you just have the one at the back, and if we flip through as well, there's all there's no ads in this instructions, which is interesting. Instead, you just have these illustrations, which here you have uh, Lloyd commit a vehicle manslaughter. You have Lloyd here in this very rundown, like almost dune buggy version of the set. You also have this part here, which looks I mean, it looks fine, very reminiscent of the Njago comics in the magazine of just Lloyd getting burned alive. And one last one, I believe, with Lloyd just driving there, which looks pretty good. This background like, just reminds me of like, the Ninjago movie advertisements. But anyway, that's just kind of all the illustrations and the instructions. Let's move on to the box and my final opinions. So at the front, you just have Lloyd driving there with the Dojo Temple in the background with Lloyd and Wu here. It's just very nice like comic book style at the front. And at the back, you have this sort of like, uh, I don't know, like this kind of almost manual look to it, which you have Lloyd up there with the banner, and you have like the various stages the car goes through while you build a set, which I really hate the back of these boxes. They're so unimaginative and so bad, uh, which could also be said for this entire wave, and I can't believe Core continuing into next year. Now, what do I think of this set? Uh, it's not worth your money, not a th Full price anyway, 30 to 40 euro thanks to the price increases. Oh, you are out of your mind. You are high as a kite, my friend, because this is not worth it. This is barely worth 20 euro, in my opinion. I mean, three minifigures, who cares? The bill itself is horrible. I mean, to think this is around the same retail price as the Ninja Nightcrawler from 2018 is. Oh, it's almost laughable, in my opinion. Just another example of how awful Core is, and I will definitely be make sure to do a comparison between this and the 2018 version. But anyway, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you in the next one. See ya.